I think that what's going on in the world right now um, is that the U.S. economy is doing better than uh, other economies on a relative basis. Right. Um, the answer is not for the U.S. economy to do less well. The answer is for the rest of the world to kind of pick up the right. pace. And there are some signs, you know, that, that things are a little better in, in Europe. Um, but sustained growth in Europe would be really important. Right. Uh, China is obviously a big part of the equation, keeping uh, uh, the growing consumer demand in China growing and opening that economy is important. Continued reform in Japan I is important and making sure they don't slip back, which, you know, they've had some signs of, of, of a risk that that would happen. So there's a lot of things to worry about. And then the emerging markets are you know, kind of on the, on the heels of China sort of settling into a, a new normal of a lower growth rate. I'm um, seeing a reduction in uh, in the strength of the commodity uh, markets that uh, that were so much driving a lot of the emerging economies. So there's a lot happening uh, in the global economy right now uh, that you know from a U.S. perspective add up to headwinds. Hmm. Are you concerned at all about China's uh, growth strategy here? I mean, they've sort of gently lowered their expectations for growth. I think a little bit above six and a half percent. Is there any risk they're not going to be able to make those kind of numbers? And well, what would that mean for us? To be clear, I, I think uh, China will have some years that are stronger than other years. The important thing is do they stick to their reform agenda? Do they continue to open their economy uh, so that it becomes more consumer driven, so that Chinese consumers start to help drive China and the global economy more? Um, and are they willing to open up their market to competition? Some things that they have to do to reform their economy could mean short-term uh, drag uh, for medium and long-term growth. So I think focusing on what the average is is more important than focusing on kind of what the minimum is. Uh, China may have to be willing to uh, see some bouncing around of its growth rate to stick to mm. an, a reform agenda that is what they need to be really the kind of powerful economy that they need to be going forward. It's good for the United States, it's good for the global economy, for China to have a strong economy. I want your sense of what the Ob Obama economy is, because we're talking about all of these economic statistics that are showing the trajectory of the American economy uh, moving forward. But when I listen to the campaign rhetoric, Obama economy is a dirty word, and there are 100 million people who aren't in the labor force, and it's not working for everyone. You say there's still work to be done, but in your own words, Tell me, what is the Obama economy? Well, you know, I think that we're, you know, we, we came in at a time when uh, the economy was suffering from the worst recession since the Great Depression. We had an enormous uh, hole to dig out of. We came out of that, and we've come out of it uh, with that usual resilience that the U.S. economy shows to pick itself up because the American people pick themselves up, and they do what it takes to get themselves and the economy moving again. The rest of the world admires that uh, and wishes it could copy it. I think that the, 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 the challenge of, of uh, income growth, for particularly middle class income growth, is something that we're concentrating on, we continue to concentrate on. There were some good signs in last month's jobs numbers that there was a little bit more wage growth uh, than we'd seen Best in before. Six years. Yeah. So that's, that was a positive sign, uh, but we've got to see more of that. Um, you know, look, we know what the answer is to, to do some more things that could get this economy moving. We need to invest in our infrastructure for the future. We need to invest in education and training. We need to reform our immigration laws. All three of those things would do a lot to get our economy moving. We're doing everything we can. The fact that it's been hard to get legislation on those things through Congress uh, means that there's still more work that we could do. Uh, but it's not, a, it's not a mystery what it is we could do to, to, to do better.